Hey everybody, part two. I said I'd be doing another one and here you go. Um, just like I said, trying to get everything organized into my new makeup area and trying to get everything put away. So let's go through these things. There are a few, quite a few things I'm actually going to be getting rid of just because I don't use it. So what's the point of it sitting in my collection? Some of these things it's due to formula, color shifting. I have mentioned in the past, I pulled to the pink. So when I put pink, like red lipstick on, it turns fuchsia on me. Especially if it's a blue base or a red base where they've used certain chem colors, colorizations. Um, pinks can change on me too. I've actually been at, you know, like wet and wet, um, not wet and wild, uh, Mary Kay party. She had us all put the same pink lipstick on. Everybody looked the same except for me. And she checked it like three times. She's like, the same one. I pulled the pink so it got really pink on me. Really bright pink. Which sucks. So, I've mentioned before, color shift. It is what it is, right? Alright, first thing we're going to hit is Lorac Pro Liquid Lipsticks. I picked up the four pack a couple months ago. Um, I picked up the California Dream and I picked the whole product up. I think I paid like 7 to $10. I don't remember exactly. It gave me a good idea on the formula. I was going to keep one of them and then I realized how similar it was to something else. And I like the formula of the other item better. So, guess what? Um, I'm going to get rid of all four of them. Just don't work for me. If they don't work, what's the point of keeping them, right? Before I did all these declutters, earlier in this week I've been watching declutter videos just to kind of get my brain in this mode. Next thing is the Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in CEO. I would love this as a lipstick color, but I don't like it as a gloss color. It sucks. So the gloss is going. My hair sticks to it. I stick to it. And it sticks to each other. So you have that stick tacky every time. I don't like that. The next thing is the lipstick formula. I like the formula. It's nice. It's creamy. It's good opacity. But this turns, remember that pull of the pink? This turns bright, almost fuchsia pink. I mean, not fuchsia, but bright pink on me, almost neon. Um, which really sucks because it's a brand new lipstick and I can't wear it. All right, next is ColourPop. Um, I've gotten these in BoxyCharms. I didn't purchase these. Well, $20 a month on BoxyCharm, but I'm usually way ahead. Um, I have the Ultra Satin one in Mess Around. It's a, but it has a lot of gray undertone in it. It makes me look like death. I don't like it. And I don't like the satin formula. It's just, it doesn't work for me. I like the Ultra Matte though, and it's in Speed Dial. I am going to be keeping that. All right, next thing is Buxom. Sorry if I'm flying through this. I don't want to be forever doing this. Is a full-on uh, lipstick. They have the, the roll-up lipsticks. And I got this color thinking it would be that. And it is that, but this is the matte version of it. And it's a frost. And I barely touched this thing. I, I And it's over a year old. It's probably a year and a half, almost two. So it needs to go. Now the lip gloss, uh, Leslie, I just picked that up. I've actually used, like, you can see there's a big bubble here. There's quite a bit of this up, so I'm keeping that. Getting rid of a lot, right? We'll get down the road. There'll be some more things I won't get rid of. This is Clinique Crown. I picked this up, um, God, last May? Yeah, around May. It was on clearance from the Christmas stuff. The problem is, is there's a film on the outside. I don't know if you can kind of see it or not on a video. Um, but there's a little bit of a film, and I've used it. It was a pretty good size. I've used over half of it. I paid like seven bucks for it on clearance, which is still a lot of money. But for a bomb, it's okay. But I think the Revlon one, the coconut and peach one, is better than this. So, but I'm definitely getting rid of that. It doesn't work for me. Okay, the Too Faced Honey Infused Lip Gloss. I got this as a free with purchase. I didn't buy the the palette that day. I bought it later. But uh, I actually like this gloss. It's very hydrating. Um, just a lot of shimmer. I've been using it as a topper. Over other things, but I do like it as a gloss. It's a nice gloss. Alrighty, next thing, right? <laughs> it's like I'm just trying to get on a roll. Is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Spicy? This is I bought this about a year ago, before last Christmas. Um, I'm gonna use it through this Christmas, and then I'm gonna get it replaced, or I might replace it before then. I like this color. When I want a bold, orangish red li lip, this is beautiful. So I'm keeping that. But I I got this given to me by Elizabeth Cosmetic Lola. It's very similar to the Spicy from ABH, but it's a brighter orange. Um, unfortunately, it's a cream and it doesn't dry all the way down, so I don't like it. 
it goes bye bye. I have two from Jeffree Star. I have Unicorn Blood and Pumpkin Pie. Unicorn Blood is the same one from last year. Um, you only get 12 months on these. I usually push it and do about 15 or 16. For now, it's good. I'll use it through the Christmas season. I wouldn't be surprised it come next spring if, or um, summer I do a declutter. I might get rid of it just because it'll by then get old. Jeffree Star and the Pumpkin Pie. This is my second container. I went through the whole one. I wish it was part of the permanent line because I probably would order another one. But this one has only been open for about four months. The other one was, I got about seven months before I had to get, um, open this one. So, this will probably be gone by the next declutter. I've actually been holding off using it because I don't want to use it all up. I have my Jordana's, uh, sweet cream mats. I love this formula. I highly suggest it. It's a long-wearing product. It lasts about seven, eight hours. And I had a lot of issues with it. It comes off with oil, like the Jeffree Star, but this is right behind the Jeffree Star formula, in my opinion. Um, and for the price, at anywhere from seven to ten dollars, depending on where you get it, it's not a bad thing. I only have two colors in tiramisu and rose macaroon. I love both of these. You can actually see where I'm scraping the sides to use them. So. Those are staying. Like I said, I knew I'd get down the road and I'd have more to stay. Alrighty. True Mats Broadway Colors. Um, their True Matte formula is phenomenal. Um, if you like a lipstick with a True Matte, I, I really should do a review on these. Then I'd have to buy the whole color collection. And after throwing out all those creams, I felt a little leery about doing that. If somebody wants me to do a full collection review, let me know. Um, otherwise I won't, I'm just going to check these and the other two I like are in my purse <laughs> because I've actually been using them. So yeah, let me know what you think if you want a full review on the mattes. I have two more from these guys for two more eyeshadows and I was going to call it a quit. Um, I've used the bronzing powders, not the greatest. That's why I didn't do a review. I was not happy with it. Um, their nail polishes are okay. The gel ones better than the regular ones. But they're matte ones. I love the look, but they chip within an hour or two. It's not worth the money. Don't even bother. Um, and their cheap dollar ones don't even last that long. So the truth of it is, is, is that they're the only, I like their blushes, like I said before, for building. And I like their true matte lips. They're very good. Otherwise, I don't really like most of the line. There's an eyeshadow that I do like, but there's only one. But these guys are going bye bye. All right, the next are the Tardiest Lip Paints from Tarte. I actually have not used these. I've used this formula in the past. I know I don't like it, so I didn't bother with them. I left them whole, untouched. One's from BoxyCharm, get it. And the other one is uh, Castle, and I got this in my Magic Star. I didn't use this. So both of those are going in the giveaway, brand new, not touched. Now there was a lip gloss in there. And it is in Myth, and I love this, so I'm keeping that. Then I have Wet n' Wild. Now, I got the Mermaid Collection, and I had a lot of fun with this, so I'm actually kind of glad I got it. Um, I would have been wondering if I hadn't, but the formula is a whipped formula on this. So I two of these stain my lips really bad. I talked about that. And that was the green and the blue, the Sea Siren and the... The seduction they're going bye-bye um i can't use them i've tried using them a couple other ways like eyeliner um the mousse formula makes it really hard to work with and they stained my eyelids so yeah these were just yeah no good i am keeping the other two though i am keeping uh harbor a uh, crown and coral crown harbor a uh, crush and coral crown sorry um they don't stain my lips as bad as the other two um i love how this one the coral crown looks on me. It's gorgeous. Um, but I'm keeping both of these. I have three lip liners. Um, one is Jouet Blue. And it is a purpley brown. I don't wear purpley browns overall. Because um, I was kind of like looking through my collection going, what could I use this with? Um, and it's just not the right shade for anything I have. It's brand new. I got it in BoxyCharm. I'm going to give it away. Let somebody else have fun with it. I do have two lip, lip liners. I have the um, 
L'Oreal Color Riche in All Naturel. And then Makeup Academy in Rose. It's the rose tone. One's pinker. One's a little bit more uh, purple. Um, I do use both of these, so I'm keeping those. And the last four in this collection is, or declutter collection thing, is the Wet n Wild and the Everyday. Now, I only have four left. I actually have used one whole one up, and another one I returned, no, two I returned because the color was like, oh. and you can return things at like Walmart, Walgreens, CVS within a certain amount of time. So if you really don't like a product and you don't want to spend the money, somebody's like, oh, you're still wasting it. I'm not wasting my money, and that's how I feel about that. I didn't waste my money, so I'm happy. So yes, I'm keeping the color Rebel Rose. I'm keeping the color Berry Recognize, Coral Corruption, and Nudist Peach. Nudist Peach is, is a very thin. A lot of people said it's patchy. It can be. But because it's so close to my natural lip color, I can actually pull it off nicely. So, that's it for those, you guys. That's what I'm keeping on this is what I'm getting rid of, just chucking. I have three items to be given away. So I think I did pretty good. I cleared out about half of what I wanted, which was fine with me. I was really wanting to clear out a bunch. And some of these things are going to go into, I know one or two items may go in a project pan. A couple items after the Christmas season might go. There's a couple of them that are almost empty that are going to be gone before spring. So it's one of those things, right? It is what it is, as I always say. All right. Well, y'all take care. Um, we'll see you next time. And remember, until I see you again, you do you. Bye.